I lost my wife a month after Trump gave the order for our troops to be withdrawn from Syria because Trump ran on defeating the Islamic Caliphate, ISIS, and that needed to be done. Uh, unfortunately, ISIS was a byproduct of the Iraq war, the invasion, and all the blunders that we made there, but Trump inherited that problem. We had to deal with it. We had to even take out the Caliphate. We did that in very short order. Trump gave the order to withdraw, and that's when the D.C. war machine, which unfortunately is controlled by Republicans and Democrats and yes. even more powerful unelected bureaucrats, turned against Trump to leave our troops there. And, and she was killed. And a lot of the justification for leaving our troops in Syria and in Iraq has been to prevent so-called Iranian influence, malign Iranian influence to counter Russia. Uh, and that is nothing more than us baiting a trap for ourselves to get our troops killed to encourage and then really to justify a further war against Iran. It's absolute insanity. And we have to ask ourselves as American citizens, what do we gain from this? If we're going to deploy our troops and we're going to lose our best and our brightest, and we're going to spend trillions of dollars, what do we, the American people, gain? At the same time, we just lost three Americans defending the Jordanian-Syrian border. Our border is wide open. Fentanyl is killing over 118,000 exactly. of our citizens. 10 million illegal invaders have come into our country. So where are the priorities of our ruling class? And I, I think it's absolutely evil. I think it's completely and totally treasonous. And we need to get these people out of office as soon as possible. Joe Kent provides a critical perspective on U.S. military involvement abroad, urging caution in interventionist foreign policies. His viewpoint is influenced by personal tragedy, driving him to question the purpose behind military actions. Kent advocates for open borders, addressing concerns about illegal immigration and national security, while highlighting the need for secure borders and effective immigration control. He challenges the actions and priorities of the ruling class, echoing public skepticism towards governmental elites. Kent's scrutiny extends to social values and decision-making processes, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing national interests over extensive foreign intervention, particularly in military deployments. He emphasizes accountability and ethical considerations, categorizing actions as evil or reasonable to guide ethical decision-making and capture public interest. 